One of the first thing that comes to our mind when we say an Android smartphone is customization. There are tons and tons of Android launchers available on the Google Play Store. So it was only a matter of time before Microsoft announced their own launcher for Android. Hey guys, Adi here. And this is my review of the Arrow launcher by Microsoft. Now do remember the launcher is still in beta, so you'll have to go through a couple of steps to download the app and anything might change in the final version. So take it with a grain of salt. Now opening the launcher for the first time, you will be welcomed by a very different layout than the usual Android launchers that you're used to. The home screen is divided into three sections. The recent app section at the top displays the four most recently used app, which is very convenient to be honest. The frequently used apps are displayed next. And the last section is the usual dock from where you can launch the app drawer. But on the Arrow launcher, you can also pull it up to reveal the recent contact list, settings for the launcher and also an option to change the wallpaper. Now the Arrow launcher comes with two additional screens on either side of the home screen. Now as far as I tinkered around, uh, I couldn't find a way to add another screen. Swiping to the right gets you to the people screen with all the frequent contacts. But you can also launch the dialer and the contacts right from this page. Swiping to the left gets you into the notes and reminder screen where you can add your reminder notes which is quite useful. Now the app drawer features a search which is nice but I'm not a big fan of the vertical app list even though they are in alphabetical order. The settings has some very basic feature. Very, very basic feature. All you can do from the settings is change the wallpaper, set the launcher as the default launcher or you can go into the system settings and an option to give feedback for the launcher itself. Don't expect anything in the likes of Nova Launcher or other launchers. But maybe in the final version, Microsoft might add quite a lot of customizations. We can only wait and see. Uh, you also have an option to enable the daily Bing wallpaper from the settings if you wish so. Overall, it's a very fresh take on an Android launcher. Uh, it's based more on learning how you use your phone and all the apps and tune the launcher accordingly by bringing up uh, the most recent uh, on the most frequently used apps and contacts right onto your home screen. Personally, I really have nothing negative to say. As far as I spend time with the launcher, it was pretty good. Uh, of course, it will get better with every iteration moving forward from beta until the final version gets released. Uh, we'll have to wait and see about that. So if you're bored with the usual Android launchers and want to try out something fresh, uh, then definitely check out the Arrow launcher. If you guys are interested in the launcher, uh, all links are available in the description below the like button. What do you guys think? You think Microsoft has got a home run with this different approach to the Android launcher? Uh, leave a comment below and let me know. Alright guys, thank you for watching. Be sure to like the video and share it if you enjoyed. And do subscribe to my channel for more videos, it really helps out a lot. Until next time, you guys take care.